Welcome to Revival Report. Right now, we're pursuing a four-question challenge to ask the ultimate question, is your church revival ready? Not, are we hoping for God to come in the power and presence of His Holy Spirit and bring sweeping change as He breathes new life into His people, but rather, are we intentionally creating the conditions in our church and in our lives through which revival can take place? We've already presented the first three questions. How are we seeking God personally? When are we setting aside time for spiritual renewal? How are we uniting in prayer for revival and redemption? And now question number four. What is our action plan to complete the Great Commission? In other words, how are we strategizing and working together to carry out Christ's orders in Matthew 28, in which he told his followers to go and make disciples of all nations? The fruit of revival is, of course, evangelism and the expansion of Jesus' kingdom in hearts and lives. But history teaches us that while evangelism and revival are technically separate, those who really experience the presence and power of God are usually those on the front lines of mission work, pushing back darkness, sharing the gospel, serving the needy. So the question before us is how, in our church family, are we training and equipping and encouraging people for this? What are we doing to engage them in the spiritual battle for people's souls? What should our next steps be? One step we're taking in our church is to take a group of our congregation through an evangelism training course called The Way of the Master. 1 Peter 3.15 tells us to always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. Are you planning and preparing to carry out the Great Commission? so that you are revival ready.